Hello, everybody, and welcome to Classroom Champions Live. Welcome back to those of you who have been watching. And for those of you who are new to Classroom Champions Live, this is Classroom Champions opportunity to bring amazing athlete mentors into your living room. So today, you guys, we have a really special treat. First of all, we have someone really special hosting today. I want to introduce our CEO, President, Olympic gold medalist, Steve Messler. Um, Para track and field athlete Markeith Price, Sammy Bosco, para cyclist, and Aaron from Ask, Listen, Learn. You guys, welcome. Thanks so much for being with us today. I'm excited. Awesome. Thanks so much. So, you guys, today is a special edition. Super of excited. It's live. In addition to being the Healthy Living Month, April is also Alcohol Responsibility Month. So, we've partnered with Responsibility.org for a number of years, and they have an amazing underage drinking prevention program called Ask, Listen, Learn that helps teachers and kids in grades four through seven learn what the developing brain does, what alcohol does to it, and what it does to you. Let's check out the video. Don't mix. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, Ask, Listen, Learn has great resources that you can use at home. And, um, you know, they've shifted to online learning just like so many of us have. So these videos and materials are all available at asklistenlearn.org. Um, Aaron, thanks for joining us from Ask, Listen, Learn. Steve, I'm going to let you take it away to introduce all of our athletes today. Oh, I get to introduce everybody? Awesome. We do. Hey, everybody at home. This is really so much fun for me. Uh, I'm so excited for all the thousands of kids that are out there watching right now. Thanks for joining. I hope you're all doing well back home. First, I want to introduce Aaron Hildreth from Ask Us and Learn. Hey, Aaron. Hey, how are you, Steve? Thanks for having us. Hey, Aaron, where are you? Where are you at today? Where are you calling in from? I'm at my home in Virginia, so right outside of Washington D.C. Um, today is actually an awesome day. My kids have started their distance learning today, so we're all really busy. Awesome. Um, busy is good. Well, and then I'm super stoked to have Sam and um, can I go with Sammy? Oh, we've got her frozen. I think she's frozen. We're going to jump over to Markeith then. <laughs> Mar Markeith. I've got Markeith Price here, everybody. Markeith is a USA track and field athlete. He's a two-time Paralympian. He went to the 2012 Paralympics and 2016 Paralympics. Markeith, tell us a little bit about what's on the screen here. Uh, so, oh, that's me <laughs> long jumping right there. Uh, I think that's 2013. Uh, I was in France right there. Um, and uh, I got fifth place in the long jump and I got a silver medal with the four by one relay. So, yeah. Awesome. For having me as well. Oh, so stoked to have you. Can you talk to the kids a little bit about your disability and what, what what brought you in the Paralympics? Okay, so yeah, my disability, I'm visually impaired. So sometimes I say uh, blind just to like help people understand that I, uh, I'm, I'm closer to uh, being blind. But basically visual impairment is um, basically you have low, low vision. And so that's what brought me into the Paralympics. I can't see as good as everyone else. And my vision is, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's not as good as everyone else. So yeah, yeah. but I still do my thing. I, I, well, clearly you do. How, how far have you jumped? Uh, 23 feet. So what? yeah, it's probably longer than a lot of you guys' classrooms back <laughs> when you guys were in the class. It's probably longer than some of you guys' houses and apartments and things like that. <laughs> so awesome. I can jump all the way over there. And Christina, is, Christina Stone is saying hello to you on Facebook, too. Hey, Christina. Hey, how are you? Oh, we got Sammy back. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, so, Sam, it looks like I think I think we have some video of you, too. Well, welcome. Welcome back. So, everybody, we've got Sam Bosco Thank on you. here. Sam is a two time Paralympic medalist. And Sam, tell us about if this video is tell us about what we're seeing on on the video right now. Oh, Sam's internet's going. So Sam is a Paralympic. So this was a bike race last year that was super rainy. Um, it pretty much rained all of last year. All right. 
We're having a hard time with Sam's audio. So, Markeith, Aaron, we're going to have to pick. We're going to, you guys. Am I still paid? Markeith and Aaron, you guys ready to pick up the slack for, for oh, Sam? Yeah. Internet. Yeah, let's do we it. got her back. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll welcome her back when she comes back and her sound is working. Oh, that she's frozen in a face that looks like, and this is what happens, guys. We we do this. So we're here today. I'm super excited to be talking about what we've got here with Ask, Ask Us and Learn. They have supported and been a part of Classroom Champions and helping us connect hundreds of Olympians and Paralympians and NFL players and NCAA athletes to kids all over the U.S. and all over Canada. So, I mean... Sam and Mark Heath, you guys are here hanging out. Oh, Sam, it looks like we might have you back. Sam, let's try your sound. Fingers crossed. All right. So Sam, tell the kids at home, everybody out there has bikes. A lot of people out there have bikes. I've, I mean, I'm not very good at it, but tell us a little bit about what you do. I basically get to feel like a little kid every day and go outside, ride my bike, race my husband around because he rides bikes too. And get to travel and race with my friends. Awesome. So you race bikes for a living. Yes. And can you tell us tell us a little bit about so you do the Paralympics. Tell us a little bit about what about your disability and how that factors in and how you got involved in the Paralympics. Uh, so long story short, I had a limb lengthening surgery when I was 11 that didn't go as planned and I spent 3 years on crutches and have some permanent damage in my right leg as a result, a shorter right leg less muscle, severe nerve damage. So I basically have, have a little bit of a shim in my shoe. So it's built up so that we're kind of even when I'm riding a bike and I feel normal. <laughs> so, it so it happened at the same age as a lot of the kids that are at home right now, 11 years old. Yeah. So that's, I mean, it, so, I mean, the connections with all of us, all of us are amazing. So today guys, we're going to have a really awesome game that we're going to play with Mark Heath and Sam and Aaron that we'll get into. And yeah. Yeah. just like all of us at home and all of these, all of all of us, all of our parents and adults, but kids, especially we're all distance learning now and we're all looking for things to do at home, right? Everybody at home. So if you're at home, let's actually, let's everybody stand up and everybody stand up. I don't know, Mark Heath and Sam and Aaron it might be a little bit hard for you guys if you're on your devices, but all the kids at home, all the <laughs> thousands of kids at home, let's all stand up. And before I jump in, I mean, I'm, I went to, I was a bobsledder. So that was my job. I ran and pushed. Uh, I mean, Markeith, yeah. Can you give us maybe Markeith, maybe can you give us like five jumping jacks to do? <laughs> Everybody at home, let's go. All right. I mean, Aaron, I'm watching you too. All right, three, four, five. Okay. I did more than five. That's, <laughs> I mean, you're an overachiever. You're a Paralympian, man. That's what, that's what this is about. I can't help so, it. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we're all trying to do some of our favorite things while we're at home and ask us and learn and our, and our partners and classroom champions, we all do the same thing and we're looking for great things to do at home. So some of the things are we're looking for games, we're looking for resources, uh, we're looking to have conversations between our parents uh, and the things that are really, really important because parents are the number one influence on your decision making as kids at home, whether it's about staying healthy or whether about it's about drinking or not drinking alcohol. And not every conversation is going to be about alcohol, of course, but keeping the lines of communication and open and making a diff big difference. I mean, Sam, Mark, Keith, you guys work with your coaches and you have lines of communication all the time, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. I get in trouble if I don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got to stay in contact. <laughs> so what does it look like right now to stay in contact with your coaches? For me, it's it's a little bit more sporadic just because there is no racing right now. So it's just basically emailing once a week. I'm sure I'm staying motivated and my bike. Sam, we're having Sam, we're having a hard time with your audio, so we're gonna make having you a set. We're having a hard time with your audio, Sam. So we're just gonna have right you do now. some more some more jumping jacks at home, I think. What do you think? <clears throat> Markeith, how about you? Are you, how are you staying fit and start, how are you staying active at home? Um, so yeah, I, I stay in contact with my coach. Um, act, active, um, I pretty much am able to, I'm at my parents' house. I've been here since the whole thing has started. 
And so I'm able to lift weights down in the basement, but also in the, I, I, I ride a, a stationary bike. I also do burpees, which everybody oh, can you show us, can you show us a burpee? in the world. Say again? Can you show us a burpee? Can you show oh, us what a burpee man. is? Oh, man. Okay, hold on. I got I to gotta move the camera. All right. And then, because I'm in my sister's old room. Right? <laughs> I don't have shoes on. Don't judge me. All right. Whoa. All right, everybody at home, I want to hear, and I would love this. Everybody at home, I want you guys, let's try burpees with Markeith right now. I'll do five. All right, you do five. And I want to hear on Facebook from everybody what they're doing. And I'm getting, we're getting some most messages from people at home that they're actually measuring 23 feet, Markeith, okay. as well as how far 23 <laughs> feet is in their homes. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, they should measure yeah. and see how far how far it is they'll be surprised that's amazing yeah that's amazing so we're gonna play we're gonna play a game that everybody at home has anybody like we're all on zoom a lot and we're all doing other kinds of meetings whether you're distance learning with school or you know whether your parents are on conference calls and it's tough to kind of sometimes keep conversations going but one of the best ways to keep conversations going about our social and emotional health and our mental health is playing games and having conversations. And we have two incredible Paralympians on with us today. So of course, we're gonna talk about playing some games um, to get the conversation going. So we're gonna have you guys at home join in for our games. Are you guys ready at home? Let's, I want you guys to be blowing up Facebook right now and tell me whether you're ready, tell us whether you're ready to play these games. Because the game that we're gonna start, the game we're gonna play today that we have time for, we're gonna play Scattergories. Oh, Aaron, have you played Scattergories before? It's my favorite game. Awesome. I mean, <laughs> your favorite game. Wow, I love it. I Sam, so. have you guys played Scattergories before? Yep. All right. And, and Sam is frozen. She looks very happy with everybody here. Uh, and Angela, oh, Angela Richmond, I heard, I see Elspeth just did six burpees. That is amazing. Oh, okay. That is amazing. And who else? Oh, Charlotte. Charlotte's doing some burpees as well at home. I love it. So, oh, and Charlotte's also ready to play Scattergories. So if you've come up, so how, what, how Scattergories works is I'm going to say a word and then I'm going to say, well, sorry, I'm going to say a letter and then give you a category. And when you have that, cat, when you have that letter in that category, you're going to want to write down on a piece of paper or type into Facebook what word it is that you're thinking of when we say that category and the word that starts with the letter. So for example, if I say the letter is S, Markeith, and the category is sports, Sam, what might be some words? For me, soccer comes to mind. So it begins with S and it's a sport. Markeith, what other sports are out there that begin with S? Skiing. Skiing. Sam. Softball. Aaron. I said softball, but I'll switch to swimming. Swimming. Uh, all right, swimming, awesome. Those are all great. So everybody at home, I want you guys to get ready. Either go run and grab a piece of paper or have you or your parents be ready to type into Facebook, okay? All right, you guys. So the letter is going to be, and I think the letter is gonna be M as in Michael or Matt. So the letter M and the category is a city or a town. And I think like 10 seconds, 10 seconds sound like enough for everybody? All right, so 10 seconds, ready and go. Write down the letter or type in the city or town that begins with the letter M. All right, and let's type in, I see Charlotte says Montreal. I wrote down Madison. Aaron's got Mount Vernon. Uh, we've got Angela Richmond wrote down Manchester. That's a great one. Awesome. Markeith is still, Markeith, you writing or you want to say it? Yeah. Miami yeah. is guys a good took one. one. <laughs> I see Zachary said Miami. Tiffany, Mont I see Montrose. Oh yeah. Oh, we're getting Medford, Oregon, oh, Ashley. I'll put, I'll put this one up. But Miami. Miami, I like it. Yeah, Miami. Yeah. Put man All right. So awesome. All right. Pens and papers down. You guys ready for your next letter? Yeah. Yep. All right, next letter category. Let's go with 
let's name a body part. Let's name a body part that begins with the letter C. So the letter C, oh. let's name a body part that begins with the letter C. All right, ready? You got a few seconds left now. Oh, man. I got to come over here on my couch and write, write my words down. <laughs> All right, you ready? All right, let's see what a body part that begins with the letter C. What do we got out there? Griffin's got cartilage. Whoa. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> Markeith, collarbone. <laughs> Sam Chin. Aaron, cerebral cortex, a big one. I have cerebellum. Everybody at home, look up what cerebral cortex and cerebellum are. Check it out. What else do we have? Zachary says cranium. cranium. It's a good one. Love it. Oh, that is a good one. Chest. 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 Tanya, chin. I love it. All right, guys. This is awesome. I love it. So, and kids back home, you know a good way to have conversations with your parents about things you want to talk about with them? Play a game. Maybe play categories and give them some categories of things you want to want to talk about with them. That would be a great way for you to get those conversations going with your parents. So, we're going to go with an adjective that starts with... So, an adjective is something that describes something. So if it is, let's go with, uh, if it's big, an adjective would be something if, if it's the ceiling is tall, things like that. Aaron, you have a better way to explain adjective? It's just something that describes something, right? A describing oh. word. Describing word. So an adjective that starts with the letter H. Let's go with the letter H. You guys ready? Sam, Markeith, thinking. I'm, again, I'm going to my couch to write stuff down. <laughs> I can't tell if Sa if Sam is frozen in this. Somebody please take a screenshot of Sammy and and post it on Facebook for me, please, because that's a great post. Usually, you get frozen in places like this, <laughs> like that. Sam is thoughtful with her chin up. She was thinking about the word, about the adjective. All right, what do you guys have? Everybody at home, what do you have? Charlotte has hot. Yeah, that's a great adjective. Huge. I've got, as an Olympian, I've got healthy. Ooh. Aaron has happy. That's a really good one. And today, right now, we could, we should all stay happy. What else we got at home? <laughs> Sam Bosco, I am. Sam is just hopping onto Facebook. I like it. Honest. Sam that's is, great. Sam has got hollow. Honest. Oh, honest. That's a great one. Very. Oh, we've got time for probably one more, everybody. <laughs> Sam, you ready? Sam is like doing the in and out game show routine routine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go with everybody that at home. Let's go with a healthy snack. Again, Olympians, Paralympians, we're thinking about these things all the time. Healthy snack that starts with the letter P. So P as in Paul. Um, yeah. Letter P. I'm going to go to my couch and write down. You guys write it down at home. All right, everybody at home, what do you guys have at home? I've got, I see Charlotte's got pear. Uh, Markeith, what do you have? Pears, passion fruit. Oh, you got a, a twofer. I like it. Sammy, what do you got? Pretzels. 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 I like it. Sam has just gone straight to Facebook. <laughs> everybody, you got a Paralympian <laughs> on your Facebook feed right now, going back and forth with you. I love it. Uh, Elspeth says pineapple with peanut. Yeah, oh, I said double. pineapple too. You grab Aaron's. I have pistachio. Right. Yep, I love it. All right, everybody. Well, you guys were good sports. Everybody at home, to the thousands of kids back out home, you are being such good sports today. Uh, Sam, Aaron, Markeith, so awesome. I mean, I feel like I could keep playing this all day long. Like I'm in my basement with all of my kids toys down here as well. Thanks, and, man. you know, playing games, it really gets our brains working and it's like a great warm up for your mind. Just like athletes, our Keith, you showed us some jumping jacks and some burpees that are warm ups. You've got to warm your brains up before school, during school, after school and keep them moving. Uh, and, you know, kids, your, your brains at home, they're developing and using questions and answers. We can talk about all these different things. 
uh, and ways to keep our bodies moving and ways to keep our bodies healthy. Um, and we're right at the end of our time here. And always with Classroom Champions, we are all about challenges. So uh, Sam, thank you. I see on Facebook the pistachios comment. So we are all about challenges at Classroom Champions. And today's challenge is going to be, we're going to ask you to create create your own family game to play. For those in grades four to seven, go to askthisandlearn.org and watch a video and check out their games there. They're going to give you some great ideas too. And everyone else, everyone, those underneath, those are underneath grade four, go to classroomchampions.org. And there's all kinds of awesome things from athletes uh, on there again. So Sam, Marquise, do you guys have any of your medals with you or by you by, by chance? I brought mine with me. Sam, do you have? Uh, give me five seconds. All right, go. Five seconds. Sam, tell us what that one is. Uh, it's Peru. It's it's the most recent one I got in Lima. Amazing. It's one of four. I got four. I got two bronze. I remember those. I remember watching. That's awesome. I brought mine. And I came with this that, little guy. That was an exaggerated five seconds, but uh, that was <laughs> more like 20. What do you got? What did you find, Markeith? My Pan Am, my Pan American medal. Amazing. And I brought my, oh, so cool, everybody. So cool. I brought mine. Mine's a little older, you guys, because I'm a little older. I brought mine. I brought mine from the Vancouver Olympics in 2010. Oh, that's nice. Which is probably a lot of the kids that are at home right now were born right around Super there. Cool. Um, yeah, they made it. Check it out. They made it wavy like the ocean. It's not even flat. Sometimes I tell sometimes I tell kids that I ran it over with my car when they ask why it's not flat. <laughs> so again, I we 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 are running out of time. We've run out of time. I want to remind all of our thousands of families and everyone at home that April is Healthy Living Month and Alcohol Responsibility Month. So for all of the awesome kids out there that are in grade three or younger, again, head to classroomchampions.org and hear from more amazing athletes like Mark Heath and Sam. And Aaron, you and I should go there as well and watch yeah. these kinds of things too. Um, and you can sign up for free there. And for those who are in fourth grade and older, check out some of the activities and lessons at Ask, Listen, Learn at, on their website at asklistenlearn.org, including some quick 10 minute brain breaks that include like Kahoot quizzes, which I love. Aaron, you and I were in Los, at a school in Los Angeles last year and we did Kahoot's quizzes and they were amazing. Yeah. So conversations going, uh, maybe get them kickstarted with a game. And like we'd say at Ask, Listen, Learn and Costume Champions, say yes to a healthy lifestyle and no to underage drinking. Markeith, Aaron, Sam, thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us, Steve. You guys have a great day. You too. Thanks, Bye, everybody at home.